China presented the latest design of its super heavy lift vehicle, Changzheng 9 or CZ9, only one day after SpaceX Starship launched for the maiden time. The proposal is notable for its appearance, which is similar to Starship, and China undoubtedly continues to emulate the SpaceX rocket. Changzheng 9, or Long March 9, is being built by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, or call presentations at events commemorating China's National Space Day in Hefei. Last month, the Anhui province disclosed plans for the Long March 9 rocket, including the development of an ostensibly Starship-inspired totally reusable variant. The initial prototype is 114 meters long with a tremendous liftoff of 4,400 tons and a thrust of 6,100 tons. Before we continue, please smash that like button, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel and put the notification bell on so you don't miss our next video. The Long March 9 will be followed by a two-stage model capable of transporting 150 tons of payload to low Earth orbit or 100 tons when the first stage is landed. The final goal will be a totally reusable 80 tons to LEO version, which is projected to fly in the 2040s. You'll undoubtedly recognize the silhouette of Starship, especially the upper level which would allow the second stage to be reused. It differs only in a few minor details from the previously intended reuse of the first level. The first stage would now have 30 engines, according to this update. In a 3918 configuration, with three engines in the center and 18 in the outside ring, an optional third stage employing the YF-79 was added to the design to allow for flights beyond low Earth orbit, comparable to a kick stage. Importantly, this copyright isn't only on paper, China has been doing it as well. Since the beginning of this year, the Colt has announced that on March 2nd, it will construct the massive tank showcasing its creation. The breakthrough required to create a propellant storage tank that is both sturdy and thin and light enough to be used in a rocket engine. The 9.5-meter tank was manufactured to spec for an outdated design for China's plan's expendable variant. The long rocket launched on March 9th. China has subsequently announced that it would transition to a new reusable design with a diameter of 10.6 meters, but the demonstration of processes such as stir, friction, welding, and the material will be relevant to the new plan. Long March is a Chinese expendable launch system rocket family. It has been in development for over 50 years and serves practically all of the People's Republic of China space missions. The first rocket in the series, launched on April 24, 1970, was created on the basis of the DF-4 ballistic missile and launched the first Chinese satellite, Dongfang Hong-1. The current largest and most powerful rocket in China is the 5-meter-long March 5 family, which can lift approximately 22,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit when it first launches in 2033. The Long March 9 will have a payload capacity of 140 to 150,000 kilograms to LEO. The rocket will be used to construct China's planned International Lunar Research Station, the country's response to NASA's Artemis project. It might also be used to launch distant space missions and space-based solar power infrastructure. The fuel is another similarity to Starship. China had earlier planned to launch an expendable Long March 9 rocket powered by 500-ton thrust, kerosene, and liquid oxygen engines between 2028 and 2030. However, the Long March 9 project has developed in the last few years from an initial expendable, more classic Long March style rocket, a kerosene fueled rocket with a 10 meter diameter core and four 5 meter diameter boosters shown in the early 2010s to the Long March 10 concept. To learn about a single stick version powered by kerosene or methane engines, methane and liquid oxygen, which improves performance and minimizes soot and co concerns for reusability. Wang Jiajun also stated the idea, which follows the trend of SpaceX, Blue Origin, and ULA transitioning to propellants. Following the notion of a smaller stage methane liquid oxygen carrier, presumably copied from the SpaceX spacecraft, president of the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, an obvious switch to metal lock suddenly appears. However, the Chinese propulsion agency, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corps, has been working on methane engines for a long time, allowing for some alterations to the design. The change in direction means that acquiring the rocket's capabilities would take longer, perhaps delaying the country's planned International Lunar Research Outpost project. China is also working on the Long March 10, which might make its first flight in 2027 and with two launches, be able to transport a crew to the lunar surface by the end of the decade. This would not be the first time that the Chinese space program has drawn inspiration from SpaceX. The country has been following SpaceX from its inception, with a special interest in SpaceX intention to reuse the rocket's first stages during the company's inaugural launch in 2006. A Chinese spy boat was rumored to be in the short region of the ocean where the Falcon 1 rocket's first stage was supposed to re-enter, according to the book Liftoff. In 2019, the Chinese Long March 2C rocket tested grid fins similar to those used by the Falcon 9's first stage to navigate itself through the atmosphere during re-entry. China aims to develop the Long March 8 rocket to land on a sea platform, and semi-private Chinese enterprises such as Link Space and Galactic Energy appear to be imitating. 
SpaceX recently debuted technology, SpaceX Starship in 2021, according to a promotional film captured and published in the Chinese social network. Weibo depicts two distinct plans for attaining suborbital passenger flights within the next two decades, starting now. The first design in the video looks surprisingly similar to the SpaceX Starship vehicle. It depicts a big vehicle capable of vertical takeoff and landing. The exterior of the vehicle is gleaming, comparable to Starship's stainless steel, and the first and second stages are equally smooth. They also function, while Starships have mostly been pushed as a means of transporting humans to the Moon and Mars. In addition, SpaceX has created a point-to-point -point idea. This Earth-to-Earth -Earth concept was first revealed by SpaceX. A video produced in September 2017 showed a suborbital flight time on Starship from New York City to Shanghai of only 39 minutes and touted the capacity to travel everywhere on Earth in less than an hour. This is simple to grasp. These projects were chosen based on an assessment of China's technological advancement and the international breakthroughs pioneered by SpaceX. China's traditionally marched rockets have traditionally been among the least expensive means of accessing space. They have played a significant part in China's rapid construction of space infrastructure. According to a case report published in the Journal of Aerospace China in August, the average cost of a long march rocket in years is around 3,000 US dollars per kilogram of cargo delivered into low Earth orbit. In comparison, NASA's space shuttle cost more than $60,000 per kilogram lifted, but in recent years, SpaceX has reduced that launch cost to roughly the same as the Long March rocket by employing the reusable Falcon 9 rocket. According to SpaceX creator Elon Musk, Starship Super Heavy, the largest ever reusable rocket, which is preparing for its inaugural flight, can lower the cost to $10 per kilogram. Although this claim has been questioned by numerous skeptics, it's widely assumed that SpaceX might reduce the cost to a few hundred dollars per kilogram. The Future Changing 9 has been hailed as ideal for launching components for a space-based solar power station in geostationary orbit, where usable super-heavy lift rockets can reduce launch costs. Much more controllable and less expensive, yet still requires the resolution of a number of technical engineer and financial concerns around the venture. So far, the future trajectory of Changzheng 9 is unknown, but it looks like China is adjusting well to the current status of the global rocket market, particularly in terms of following the industry leader. And that'll be the end of it. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments box for today's episode. Your encouragement motivates us to create more high-quality content. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click down below and leave me a comment about which supercar you prefer to have. Thanks for watching.